Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your fave fat sis, Terry. And today I'm not alone. I am with my sisters, my hunties, my family, honey. And um, they're gonna introduce themselves. And also what we're going to do today is uh, also state our pronouns. I am Terry and I go as she, her, the queen. And my name is Diola, and I prefer mm -hmm. to be referred to as a she, mm -hmm. her, yes. Who is that you like? Oh, darling, it's moi. It is I, she, her, yes. And I am Molly Moore, so I also prefer her, she, yeah, Z, they. <laughs> <laughs> Please don't come for me. <laughs> Anyway, let's get down to the order of business. Um, we weren't going to drink in this particular video, so just use this as props. We're not going to talk about the alcohol now. We're going to talk about it in the second part. In this first part, we're mm. talking about, as the description or the title of this video suggests, being trans mm -hmm. and living a trans as a trans woman. And dating. That's the second part. Oh, the second part. Okay, my bad. <laughs> That's the second I'm part. Are we including being trans, living as trans in the hood? Baby girl. <laughs> yeah, that's being part of the conversation. It, 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 yeah. it will absolutely yeah. be the part mm -hmm. of the conversation. So, the first part, I just want us to start here and say, how did you come into your transness? Do you, you ladies can start and <clears throat> I will come in. I feel like you should start. Okay, I can start. <laughs> I can start. Definitely. So, with me, like, um, obviously, uh, like, growing up, I used to feel that I was, well, not feel, but, like, I used to, I, 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 well, it's, it's, how do I put this? Mm. Oh, my God. Okay, mm. as early as five. Yes. I knew that I was not a boy. Yes. Or I knew that I was different from other boys. boys. So obviously growing up and then you meet people and then you get to learn about these terms. Obviously they'll call you gay, gay because you're always with the girls. Mm. But obviously like life for me has been a journey of dis of self-discovery. Yes. So I've always been like called, referred to as gay. And then... Did it, you refer it, yourself it, as gay it, as No, as it well? felt like an insult. Mm. But obviously I met my gay friend mm -hmm. uh, in my late years of high school. Mm -hmm. He was proudly gay, like openly gay, so how he carried himself and how proud he was with being referred to as gay mm -hmm. made me feel like it's okay for me to actually refer to myself as gay. But later on, obviously, I realized that no, that is not um, the correct term to actually describe myself. Yes. And then obviously, as you, as you grow up, you actually learn different terms and what they mean. And obviously, when you, when, as, as soon as I found out that there's... A term called transgender mm. and then obviously researched and uh, googled the meaning yes and then i was like okay that's me actually yes that's me because <clears throat> i i can remember you you were you're trapped in the wrong body, the body yeah that's what they uh, that's what they, 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 they say, say. Yeah. yeah so i felt like i was a girl yes and i wanted to present myself to to the world as a girl, a girl yes. you know yes. so and it felt so right for me to be like yeah, oh, makeup on and whatever. I I, I I I was bullied in high school, obviously for obvious reasons. For uh, very and obvious reasons. Yeah, mm -hmm. and obviously like there are times where when you're wearing makeup, your confidence just elevates. Yes. yes. You just see yourself as this, as this beautiful girl when you have hair on, when you have Lipstick all these on. you know yeah. these girly stuff. They mm -hmm. felt so right and so fitting. So then I, I, I realized, well, okay, this is actually who I am. Who I am. Yeah. So we're going to talk about, I'm going to ask you a bit later, how you transitioned into uh, presenting yourself, that you pre the way that you present yourself today, uh -uh. you know? Mm -hmm. So before we get into that, you tell us how you came into the realization of who you are. Um, I think with me, mm. um, I well, I, I have never felt comfortable as like, 
being a guy or being with guys, you know. Mm. So like the more you being grow, with guys, you were, you were always, let's clarify. One of the girls, you were always one of the girls. Yeah. So um, growing up, I had a lot of guy friends, of which I don't have now. Mm-hmm. Yeah? So what happened was most of the time. I remember you told me you even play, used to play soccer. Yeah, I used to play soccer. Uh, because of my guy friends, I like I loved them so much. Even mm. now, like when I go home, I'm like, hi, how are you? But like growing up, mm. I was like. Um, if you you've chilled with guys, you know guys they mm. like talk a lot of crap, especially about girls and then mm. so me being me around them, I was like always defending girls mm-hmm. mm. as if I am You're a feminist. girl who's who's with <laughs> as if I am the girl who's like with guys yes, you know? yes, so yes. that um, obviously it builds up, you know I was mm. like, um there's a feeling. I I was I I never felt comfortable being called gay. Mm. That I, even now I'm like I don't want a person to say I'm gay. Yeah. Because I feel like I'm a girl. Mm. You know. So mm. it 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 has always been like that. And um, the more I was growing, I think I I got I got depression when I was like in grade eleven. I even failed because then then because at grade ten mm. I just realized you know what I actually like boys. No grade. Nine, mm. I realized I like boys. Grade ten, I realized no, I like boys, but I'm not gay. Yeah. And then grade two, grade eleven, because you're obviously growing, mm. I started feeling uncomfortable, especially like in high school. Mm. Rules are boys dress like this, girls yeah. dress. I have never felt comfortable. The whole year, I was like a very depressed human being. Grade twelve, I got comfortable. I think I I was slowly coming out of my shell. Where I'm yeah. like, okay, now I am gay. And I'm discovering that I am actually trans. Yeah. I even when I'm with my gay friends, I I I, I feel like I'm a girl and they're like gays. Yeah. But like we are yeah, in yeah. the same. Same. Thing. Yeah. 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 Absolutely. I hear both of you. For me, how it happened is that um, I grew up in Alex a Township called Alex, mm-hmm. and I, I saw gay people, and I even lived in the same yard. My grandmother lived in the same yard as Ukoko Maposwa, who was a trans woman who lived as a woman until she died in her 80s or 90s. Wow. Yes. And I've got pictures. That, I'll actually... I would love to meet an old like trans woman. Like transitioning into... She was a trans woman. She lived... Into your power. I feel like it was easier because you, yes. at least you saw somebody who yes. was, who you could relate to. Yes, and it was hard for us because we didn't know see, anyone who was. But fun. and, and also, also but like then when I was younger, because people would tease me Gabona mm-hmm. and call me Koko Maposo because I was like I'm not a woman. I well I don't wear girls' clothes. I don't pretend like I'm a woman. I don't want to pretend, you know, because I was young and impressionable. I was like I'm not that person. You know what I and. Think? Because of the the stigma. I think because of the stigma. Mm. Yeah, so. And the phone's (laughs) ringing. Our fans are calling us. (laughs) Oh my goodness. Guys, are you okay? Just give me a break. We're rudely interrupted by somebody's phone. Um, No phones on set, please. Oh, monkey, yo. Visit. Hey, girls. You don't understand. You you don't understand. Anyway, uh, like I was saying before, I was rudely interrupted. Was that how I came into my being? Was that I grew up in Alex and. I identified as gay for the longest time. I was calling myself gay. And as I grew older, right, which was like recently, and I actually, this is, I'm going to talk about into presenting myself to, uh, as well when we get into that section. But I had a problem with the term man more than the gay. I wasn't, I didn't have a problem with the gay. When you said that I'm a gay man, I was like, you know, me, gay man, uh, I don't think so, right? Mm-hmm. And I even have a video on this channel that says how, uh, how, how do we live? My friend and I saying how, how do we exist as gay men in Africa, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I think I've seen You've that. seen that video mm-hmm. and I've done it and I posted it. And even at that time, right, I still did it because I wasn't fully aware of myself. So for me, uh, identifying as trans is very recent. It's very, it's a very new thing, and some people don't even probably don't even know this. Mm. They'll be seeing this for the first time in this video. And you came out to me as well, and I came out to you. Yeah. I did, yeah. and this is because I started being, I started listening to myself. 
I started asking myself, what do you identify as? I think, oh. you know, and I was like, for me, it's, 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 I identify so much with being a woman. Mm -hmm. That is my experience. That is how mm -hmm. I see life. When they, when, 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 when they say, like, for instance, men are trash. You. I also have something to add to that. Mm -hmm. I have experienced toxic masculinity, heterosexual toxic masculinity. Mm -hmm. I also have a fear of walking past a group of boys, a corny, mm -hmm. sitting by the corner. Yo, that is the worst thing. You understand what I'm saying? Nightmare. And, and when, when that came out, I felt so silenced and I couldn't speak because women were speaking out. But mm -hmm. I was like, I, I can't, I can't, as a man, at that time when I was like a gay man, I couldn't, I identify with the men are trash because I've never done that. Mm. I don't subscribe to that. I am as hurt by the system. You know what I'm mm. saying? So, round about that time, starting to question myself because I was like, if I'm a man, I, or I must admit, with yes, men are trash, how can we make life better? Even though I am not a heterosexual man, mm -hmm. how, what, what is my part in the situation? How can I make it better? Oh my gosh, the phone again. So, <laughs> for me, it's been quite recent, mm -hmm. and we're gonna now go into how did you. It's also quite recent to me because. Is it also quite remember, recent to you? Remember, not too? like, not like. I think I started when being I, comfortable. You came out as gay, go your to, family. I that was time. going there. Yeah. I came out. When was it? 2016, 2017? 2017. Yes, I came out to gay because I was still in a, in, in a journey of self discovery, obviously. Yeah. yeah. But it's, it was after when I came out to my family as gay. I wasn't even coming out. Okay. I was not coming out. Whoop! Sorry. I, I was I was I was actually having a conversation with them with my family about my sexuality for the first time mm -hmm. on camera. It wasn't okay. necessarily coming out. Because yeah. I feel like my mom always knew, like as early as five, mm -hmm. I wanted a doll. I wanted to play with dolls all the yeah. time. I cried fully back and yes, I'm go shop on cut So <laughs> I would wait my sister. There, there, there were always signs. I would like dress up like go to my mother's closet and then dress up uh, my little friends and then we do a fashion show. My mom would just be part of the no, audience. Yeah. Ali one. So mm -hmm. there's always been signs. I feel like there was so much in denial. Or maybe she was just thinking, I'm going through a phase, maybe I'll change at some point, I don't know, whatever. But she would like randomly ask me about like, would I like to, would I like to get married? Would I want to, to have a kids woman. in the... F yes! Uh, oh my god, that's I'm so like, of it all. It. miss me. You're me so, <laughs> uh, Yimlo was like basically me just having a conversation, conversation. with them. I didn't see about that. About my sexuality. Yeah. It's, it's, on, it's, on, on, it's on YouTube. YouTube. Yeah. yeah. And Yimlo. So, yeah, it was it was a very emotional. It's the first episode of that show, right? It's the second, I think. The oh, I'd I'll, 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 I'll go watch. Yeah, it's watch the it's it. the second episode. The first Yimlo season with the second show. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay, yeah. cool. Um, season one, because yeah. I think there's a second season there. Eh? Yeah, it was the first season. Yeah, so basically, yeah. after that, mm. maybe a year after that, that's when I actually realized, man, mm -mm. Mm -mm. man. the correct term. No man, actually. Actually, guys, I I also it hits you I like I remember when I was young, ne? yeah, it hits you when you're alone. Yes. Obviously, it, yes. you have your inner thoughts and all that. Yes. It hits you when you're alone that you know what I feel like I'm not comfortable with this. I think I, I remember me trying so hard to just try and fit in because I had guy friends, mm. we would go re go to pudding and do this, and I'll be there. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I, I remember this, there was this one point they were like, um, I had to get in key milk yes. the goat yeah oh my and god this guy was you, like you touch a goat yeah yeah that's yeah. why i don't eat it mm. um this guy was like yeah it's a guy you because i and now I'm, I'm very adventurous <laughs> I was mm. I about a guy, <laughs> your mouth your mouth and i bent over and i was like you suck like literally yeah, like, like, yeah no it's it's it's, it's 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 growing with boys it's like that so boys you would climb mountains and do that if you've never had an experience of going I've, with boys i've lived in hamans kral which is pretty much like a rural area yeah but I've never been part of the boys. I've never been That's interested it. in like. I, I was so happy when I'm with both Girls genders at the same that. time. It was that. comfortable <clears throat> because there was no like. Okay, mm -hmm. it wasn't too obvious yes, where yeah. I fall or where I want to be. It was I wanted to be the with the girls obviously, oh, yeah. but also the bullying from the boys, boys when yeah. I'm with the girls. Yeah. Yes. 
made me like I don't know. I just yeah. I so now tell me, hold on. Mm -hmm. Um, your when you were growing up, and we all felt felt uh, girly, you know, and we attributed that to being gay, right? Yeah, like yeah. I remember for the longest time, I was like, oh, everybody's going on their periods. Where's uh -huh. mine? I wish yeah. I had one. <laughs> and I wish I, I was growing I, boobs I, I, as well. I don't care about that. Yes. Boobs. I still want even now. They're coming loading. <laughs> <laughs> Menstruation, you guys. Oh. For me, I was like, oh, no, I wish I... No, I was just Mina, thinking... I, oh, had... I wish I had that. I wish, so... I wish I wanted to have that relationship with my mother. Oh. Yeah. About her Mina. going to buy me pads. I was oh. like, I was... Mina, I, I, had, like, I had a so problem robbed. with me with my genitals. It has mm. always been like that. I'm like, yeah. I, I don't think there's ever a point where I'll stand, <laughs> I've been talking since I'll, primary I'll, school. I'll stand in front <laughs> of a mirror naked and actually look at him because it's him. Yes. I don't look at him. I don't. Mm. He's there growing up. But now, because the, I like you growing yeah. you're becoming more sexual, and so you get used to, you know, having things. Yeah. I can relate mm. to mm. that. And I think as I grew older, I'm okay. Mm. Mm. I know who I am mm. and I understand what trans means. Yes. And I confidently embrace my true self. Yeah. So I don't care what what I have and what I don't, I don't have. have yeah. yeah. I can have what I want to have, but there are certain things that I've I've grown to be comfortable with and that I'm willing to keep that way. Yes. But, but would you agree that your childhood had an influence? in you being you now as an open trans person my ch my childhood yeah um i feel like everything that i went through um growing up i don't regret it because it it built me into the person that i am today mm -hmm. and uh obviously there was a lot of bullying mm. there was a lot of uh i don't know traumatic experiences mm -hmm. that i've been through and had it not been that, I wouldn't have been the person that I am today. Mm. Today, I don't like. I I you don't care. I I recently turned thirty. Mm. I don't care about a lot of things anymore. I'm like, if I can't change that, why am I so stressed so about that? Yeah. Like, let me. Well, for, for instance, I like grew up with growing guys, beard. So, yeah. Ooh, oh my god, that is the. We were talking about it laser. Is, yeah, like, we need to get laser because that is so like useful. that is like for us. You know, and I think maybe, like, maybe I, I, I like, tell you and also mm. like when you shave, like, oh, well, you shave but mm. now you wear makeup and like, yeah, it's. Mm. I know, I know, not having boobs or whatever. Mm. I'm okay with that. I'm, yeah. I'm gonna fix that. <laughs> uh, but I think, I think the most what? important thing. <laughs> yeah. Hey, hey, yeah. Let yeah. me, let me tell, let me say, like, nane, especially mm. since, like, now, kita ko jobek and all that. The one thing that has been making me feel uncomfortable mm. Well, in most cases, I think almost every day of my life I'm addressed as a girl yeah. Without even having to tell people that mm. um, I'm she I, or whatever I, 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 Like, even if I think mm. a, a person who knows a person would say Oh, this voice sounds like it's a man, whatever mm. But most people don't there's really care There's always that person mm. Yeah, there's always that mm. Mm. Yeah. There's only so, that one person mm. um, I started exploring with bras because I felt like I don't like how I don't know if I should call them men boobs or whatever mm. my nipples mm. I and please leave me alone <laughs> and <laughs> and um you know so, so sometimes it's I like, swear it's I like saw when when, when I'm when I'm wearing when I'm wearing like I, I, I think if you've noticed I don't really wear shirts like this alone mm. There's always a jacket or It's always big mm. Because I'm trying so hard To that days where I don't want to I'm like No trans today Please I'm I'm just mm. Moly I'm walking the streets mm. And there are days where I'm like oh, I'm, a, I'm a girl I think I am You know well, yes. have, <laughs> yeah, yeah. We, we, we have some things In common in a way But with me it wasn't because i'm trying to i think it was that and also i grew up very skinny mm. so i didn't like showing my oh, yeah. my arms well my limbs well not the, there was a phase in my life where i enjoyed like wearing like skimpy shorts mm. i was okay with that but like after that i became so i became so uncomfortable like showing my limbs like, yeah whether my arms or my legs like i just wanted to cover up you so know? now I've grown to be like so comfortable to a point where I don't even care about 
nah, with a, I'm not. I, yeah. like, I just I'm just me. And the guys like so I, for me, is, like they're saying it's a man's world, ne? Uh, when I It's not a man's you, world. I'm just saying they say that you walk you walk <laughs> that, but listen guys, the first thing yeah. you walk, you look so cute, makeup, brows on flick, your pink eyeshadow is popping, lashes and everything, mm. you've got your lip gloss on, mm. right? You look cute. Men look at that. They like you look cute, and they look at your chest. That is always the first thing they like. Mbora. I get that a lot, and mm. I think in most cases, I've I've had a lot of guys hitting on me, not knowing what's that happening. What I don't I don't I, I that you try and I I I I either tell them or I don't entertain them. Yeah, you know? let's yeah, actually you, get into that. Hold part. on. <laughs> anyway, we're gonna get into that. For me, you know, I. When I say my experience of identifying as trans is quite recent was when I would log on, there's this thing that I would log on to, right? Mm. And it would say, welcome, mister, right? Oh. And, and then, and then every you time take, I logged onto this box. platform, I would be like, I wish I could change that. I wish I could remove it because mm. on the same platform, there were other people who were just, it would be just money logged on mm. and then for me it would be mr yeah. logging on really? and then there was somebody else there was a guy who would log on and had miss right it was captured incorrectly i think mm -mm. and then we'd laugh about it to say oh miss so and so you logged in ha -ha. but, you are mr. And you but then it. And then you I wish, envied. You, 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 I wish you that wish was Nelly wrongly on captured on, on your me, yes. I was like, Yo, I wish I was him. I wish that was me with the mess <laughs> and not the mister. Yeah. And there was one night I was sleeping like, were you saying, Kore, you have the thoughts by when yourself you're alone, when yeah. you're alone. Yeah. And there was a night I was sleeping and I was like, but why do I have a problem with this mister mm -hmm. every time that I log onto this mm. platform? Why is it an issue for it me? Was Why it was haunting me? And then I was like, oh, and I think that's when I told you, I'm like, oh, I'm grappling with these I'm feelings. Okay with I'm, this no longer, I'm no longer, I'm no longer, I think I am no longer gay. No, I you have am, never, been. never been. I've never been. You just didn't know. I just didn't know. Mm. And I'm like, oh my God, I am trans. I think I'm trans. I'm trans. I, 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 I respond very well to she and her. Mm. And, I, and I intentionally tell yeah, people, yeah. I feel yes. like being trans comes with a lot of weight than being gay. And especially on a lot of things like now you look cute like when you, when you haven't transitioned yeah maybe. now you haven't changed your things like your ids and whatnot you fill up something and it says mr and like you were saying i've never felt comfortable using um um mr. men's toilet I've oh never. yeah oh that i've never that is another one um I, yeah. I i would block it out you know i would i would move in the world right because i didn't want to I didn't want to deal with myself, and right? You know, and my issues. I would block it out and, and go move. to the, I, go I, to the I, main I, toilet. What? I, have, I would, but then they would give me weird I, looks and I was like... With and then I stopped. Oh no, school, once I started wearing dresses, in high school, I, was, I stopped. I would make sure every time I went to the bathroom, it's There's like no one. during class. Yeah, that's Not it. break time or before school, school. or after school. Uh -uh. During, when everyone in the morning, in when class. it's busy. No, when everyone is in class. Mm. Yeah. If I bump it to one boy, then it's fine. Yeah, I'll just do my care. thing and leave. Yeah, yeah I only use Because obviously, you won't. We were not. And even worse, our principal was homophobic. Mm. Mm. So, mm. there was no way I was going to go to the ladies. Yeah. There was no And also, I was still discovering myself at the time. So, I don't really know, what's, like, what's, what's, yeah, what's, what's right, what's wrong. Because yeah. obviously, going to the ladies would feel like, yo. And now it becomes a problem. Anyway. <laughs> um, <laughs> So, you know, now let's just talk about a little bit about before we move on to presenting yourself, right? And I also, I think this also ties in, into presenting yourself as living as trans in the hood, right? Mm -hmm. How, how is that experience for myself? Let me start. I came into this where now I don't have to use public transport. I remember my car broke once and I you had to use taxis and it was such a horrifying experience, not horrifying, horrifying internal experience where for those days when I didn't have a car, I had to dress androgynous almost, mm -hmm. you know, and not put on makeup. So you don't grab a lot of attention, attention yeah. because I was not, I'm so used to being in my car, you know, doing my makeup, doing getting in my car, thing. and living in this bubble, mm. and I'm not in the public transport system. Mm. And I often 
look at people that use like yourself that use public transport and I admire that mm. I admire that because I will be the first person to admit that I don't have the courage uh, to Step walk, into it, yeah. see, like, even walk from your house, house to, to the, the taxi, taxi rank looking like you do and yes yeah. I, I, I absolutely yeah. admire that I, I, I think that I don't even want to say it's a courageous thing to do, but it's a it's a brave thing to do for it us is, to exist. It feels normal. It feels normal, normal as well, yeah. right? I'm like I'm I'm a girl. I'm going to catch a taxi, duh. Yeah. <laughs> for you, there's always gonna be those people. They're gonna be like hateful and mm. throw like an shade oh. and, and mm. I've never hateful comments at you. And obviously, I use public transport as well. Handsome saying, like, I've grown to be this person that doesn't care. Who me not, many, 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 many years, years ago. Like, I don't care. Yeah. I go to the thing, Kobri. Mm. But you need to be careful also because you know how, how mm. that tribe is. You don't care. Mm. That, that, she can that, get that you. tribe is. So you, you just need to be very humble. Mm. And when I ask for taxis, I don't go to a group of men that are sitting here because one of them is going to be like, mm. and then they're going to start mm. and they're like that. Babe. I hate commotion. Like, so yeah. I just go to that guy who's sitting alone there over there in his taxi and then ask, mm. he takes the guy, 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 dear guy, and then he talks around to him and then he can't take him to Besides that, like, in the hood, growing up, like, yo, I used to be so, so terrified of, like, people staring, people throwing comments at me. Mm. I remember this other time I had, when I did, like, braids, like, mm. twist. Mm. Yo, it was so pretty. It's, it was so well done, but I was scared of walking outside because people are going to be staring. Looking at you and... <clears throat> like, what's happening? Like... Mm. I used to be bothered by that a lot, but now, ugh. I think tapping into what you're talking about now. Exactly when you, ac- I feel like when you accept yourself, mm, and, it's a and whole you lot. Live as well, yourself. Not, you embrace and celebrate like, yourself, guys. It becomes also, easier for the next person to do. It's stages. Na- it's mm. stage. Let me yes. take you through the stage where I started doing nails. Or oh, the first time I had my hair done. Yeah. Yeah. Na- yeah let's let's we're this. getting into that presenting mm. yourself how did it start for you yes. because that's also so, a thing on its own because so, firstly you're a gay man you would dress like in guys clothes uh, and try to look cute and whatever yeah. and we all have our stories of how it happened mm. please put this on the floor for me so tell me for you how when did it start oh yeah how when did it start oh, i think it, it all started um I, I don't want to go f- go far back like after my metric. Let me just go like after I came back. I came just to as Dover. far as you can remember. No, because like there's a lot of things that happened. Go high that. Okay, also... let's say like, when did it? When did you fully start the decision into your being? Maybe. Um, that would tap into me playing with things and trying out things and mm. me being me feeling myself mm. so I would say it started I think when I, I, I started working at Woolies mm. that's when I also started playing with makeup and but then I was I was gay you know mm. I was like I'm a very feminine you hadn't gay you found yourself mm. yeah and then as I was not comfortable with doing my nails, mm. my hair, or lashes. Makeup would just be foundation, mm. and you know, the very minimal. Yeah, and then you, as I grow, I am slowly. Obviously, you meet people, and you feel like, like let's for example, I see you, and I'm like, oh, I want to be that person. That person inspires me. Why is that person? Comfortable, mm. alligate, not knowing their trends, obviously. Mm. So you come to a point where you you like start feeling that okay, I think I'm ready. I think it's being ready. Okay, hold yeah. up. There's one thing that I need to say that I need to address before I forget. Mm-hmm. There's people that actually call trans women drag queens. Stop it. Yeah, it's a it's a very annoying. Don't do. But also, it. we'll get to we'll we'll explain what mm. trans is, what drag queen drag is. Queen. Yeah. Later on, we can yeah. So the story. Uh, it, it's it it's, it was a stage where I I I'm like okay, I'm more comfortable now. Also, it takes being used to an environment, 
Because when mm. I came here, I was like not comfortable. I knew uh, just a few people. But the more I got to know the people, the more I felt comfortable. And the more <laughs> I got to... When I met you, how long have you been here? I, it goes back it to my like statement. It was like It goes years. back to my yeah. statement. But when even you, then, I was not you, like... When you accept you yourself... Were, what do you mean you were not like... Mm, uh, I was not as comfortable where I would have beads on my forehead. Oh, but you had makeup. I remember you. Yeah, I agree. It's nice part makeup. of this. There's... there's Build up. Emily yeah. Nelly na poile ko kena. Eyebrows on fleek. On fleek. Yeah. Eyebrow mm. it, it, it was fleek. Eyebrows on fleek. Eyebrow on fleek. It was. What was that? <laughs> don't come for me, please. Uh, it was like, <laughs> I'm not saying. Uh, 2016. I don't remember when eyebrows on fleek. Tomilo, Tomilo, 2016. Okay, fashioning. Like, really? About 2013, 14, 15, they really did. Clearly, I had, I had bigger problems, so I didn't mm. pay attention. Yeah, so anyway. I was, in I was in matric, he wasn't there anymore. And I started to be more comfortable because it's. I'm um, obviously, Magritte, we are the. So mm. nobody can tell you anything. Kinda only braids. But King, Nikki, Yaki. Mm. Something like yaki, but like Ella and the can take a and then when you boil it, it's like spiral. Uh, yeah. One million only doll. Mm. <laughs> Darling, can you say go into? Darling, so that was your first I think, experience. Yeah, I think of grade twelve. Presenting. Grade twelve. How old was I in grade twelve? Nineteen, I think, because I failed once in grade ten, yeah. and I was supposed to complete school at eighteen. Eighteen, but I completed in nineteen. So I was nineteen years old when I started like. Stepping into my power and actually yeah. living my true the truth and embracing my true self. Mm -hmm. So, makeup, my class teacher, ah, biggest cheerleader, baba. Because, yeah. like, there were teachers who would see her, I actually tweeze my brows, I have powder on. No, I'm going Paris Collection. Why do Paris Collection? The makeup brand. Mm -mm. Paris Collection! Yo! No, tab, I am not that old. No, tab. <laughs> Okay. Are you calling me old? <laughs> no, I'm just saying. <laughs> okay, guys. Okay. For your information, I'm just 30 years young. Okay, so... 30 years beautiful, babe. You yeah. know, so... It's a really powerful, guys. Yeah. It is so, that was your first experience yes. of makeup. Yes, and then my, my top makeup. teacher, Mudisa Budive. Well, obviously, of course, we're going to be Mr. Budive. Mr. B. Oh, it's a man. Yes. Yo, he, he fought for us. He was mm. like, So now wait, hold on. Oh, to Zite, ah, Motorel, what Lamet Lohabonahan. Hey, what's the mask? Ah, Motorel. Like, he was that guy. Literally. Walking into now, when you walk into shops and you buy uh, women's clothes, it used to be so hot. Mm -hmm. It used to be hot in the beginning. You would even right? not walk into that aisle and be like, oh. You would go and buy men's yeah. clothing. Yeah, but also and try, try, and try and make, make them, it look cute. Make them, make look them, it's just tight, yeah, like, yeah. You know? With, with but me. But obviously, it's not going to be the same. With me, my experience is that I. I started gaining weight, right? And just wearing a t-shirt and jeans didn't look cute because there were t-shirts that were short. Didn't say mukhaba, mm, yeah, nah. Didn't like that. Yeah, and then you would look like, ooh, and then people were like, ooh, okay, what put a stomach out? You know what I'm saying? Mm. And it didn't look cute. So my, my transition was so organic. Mm. It was really and truly organic because at some point I was like, I was like, if it was those days where doctors would send you to go before taking hormones, go live as a woman back in the late 90s, early 2000s, where they would be like, go live as a woman first I for like two years that, before taking hormones. Do they? I don't know. I now. Don't know. So they just give you counseling and then huh? we'll decide if you, <laughs> <laughs> no, for you should those take that are actually hormones. Like very masculine, they, but also they associate as trans. I think yeah. they still tell them to go live as to, women. Yeah, they need to train you and just to make sure that you're actually making a right decision, decision. And if you really are trans. And I was like, you know, if It'll I... It'll be easier for me when I go to the, the hospital or doctor yeah. and be like, okay, you. I, I'm trans. Yes, I'm like, it will be easy. That's what I was saying. But okay, if, if it was me, if it was me and I time, went, I would, I would definitely get on yeah. hormones because I would say, I would take out my phone and say, this was 2017 when I started wearing dresses and this is me today mm. and I still dress like this. Oh, yeah. So mine was quite organic in a sense that I was like, shit, I can't wear t-shirts and shirts anymore. I want to have longer shirts, right? Mm. I, in my head, I was thinking, I wasn't even thinking about embracing myself mm. as 
as in, a into f- as a feminine clothing person, mm. as a woman, you know, I was like, ah, no, nah, man, I want, I want, um, like clothes that are gonna cover, right? And it it came off right off the back foot of me having been depressed at my previous job, and when I moved to a new job, I was looking for clothing, so I bought t-shirts and sh- uh, t-shirts and, sh- and and skinny jeans, the like old words, mm. the the jeggings. And I would wear that and and, and and sneakers. And then I was like, oh man, some of these t-shirts, they're not, you know, they're not it. And then I decided to go to Marabastat in Pretoria and to buy dresses, you know. And then my idea was that I was going to look for Was that a decision androgynous, made, like, in its mm, No, it was, was a build-up. It was a build-up. Yeah. B- listen to the story. I say build up because... So, yeah. Nelly, the, the, the skipper, Nelly, the skipper, you know, something, something is in your long long But in your mind, was it, I'm looking for a dress or a No, I was like, you know what? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to wear and dresses as, mm. as a shirt. So I would mm. specifically go into the shop and look for androgynous shirt looking the mm. shirt dress what yes. that was my Not intention to make it obvious. yes and i wore i wore that for a while i wore that i wore that and then after a while a friend of mine was like because i would wear them with the jeggings right and sneakers mm. my friend was like why don't you just wear these dresses on their own i was mm. like girl you crazy i don't mm. do that and then she left me with a thought it planted a seed mm. and i was like yeah. actually i'm gonna do it she and i right. and i remember the time when I wore a dress on its own with my sneakers and I went to work and it was like it was a thing for me and like, you felt comfortable oh look at me and then I the floodgates of heaven were opened from there because <laughs> I moved from just wearing dresses to now fully I was like you know what I'm a bit I'm a do woman. you mm-hmm. do you I moved from sneakers what are you gonna say? <laughs> I moved from sneakers. I started with the shoes. Even with the shoes, I don't know if you yeah. we've had this conversation. Yeah, we did. For, uh, we started with the brogues. Exactly. You started with like the brogues. Brogues are going to be androgynous. androgynous. Yeah. yeah. Sorry, like unisex. Yes. So it got to jump busy too much. So I started with the brogues, and then you went to kitten heel. Yeah. And then you went like whatever you want, whatever is comfortable. That's, that's me. No matter what whatever you say, I can relate your, to your, your story. Comfortability with, but I don't wear dresses. Dressing though. up. That's what I'm trying yeah. to say. But like I like a situation where you were trying to be androgynous, and then eventually mm. tapped into actually what you well, are about. Yeah. 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 Because I also like started. To get, I wanna like. Obviously, manly clothes depress well, me. Yeah. <laughs> At the same time, I could. I don't. I wasn't. I wasn't brave enough to actually like go to the women's section and, and actually would you grab wear a whatever. Dress I, now? I would. I've worn dresses like. Not to say I told but you. But I've modeled yeah. recently for oh, Oak yes, Magazine. Oh yes, Oak Avenue. I was and so excited stunning. because like I was just trying to be like somebody different, like step out of my comfort zone and whatever. Yeah. And I've worn a, a dress to the furthest. I think twenty seventeen. Yeah. It wasn't a dress, it was a it was skirt a and a, a leotard, yeah. but it's pretty much a dress, yeah. it's a skirt dress. But like on a daily, it'll depend, like I don't know, heck yeah guy. Like yeah. let me let me say enough for now, I think I told you this. Yesterday, I wear yesterday, I wore like skimpy bum shot That I can wear. Going to recharge. Even now. But mm. the dress mm. situation, I think, um, even though people, I like I was saying, people we they assume I'm a girl, which is a good thing. Yay. Yeah. Um I can you would ro- get away with it. I, I would get away with it. But I'm not at that person. stage where I'm comfortable wearing that wearing I wear a, a, a skirt or a dress. Whatever. I've worn them before. We were doing gay pageants, so yeah. I've worn them and it was nice. I felt comfortable and like ah yo somebody. Mm, yeah, that girl. Mm. I feel like now when as soon as I transition mm. like fully yeah. well start taking hormones and growing mm-hmm. boobs and whatever because obviously your body's gonna change yeah because obviously now my my body uh, obviously it's a bad boy's bad. body like it's a, a bit, bit yeah a, a bit masculine well it's not I'm, masculine I'm not, it's spinning. not but like there are certain things that are gonna give it away that okay yeah you know? yeah, yeah, yeah. So I feel yeah, yeah. like for my, it's from, it's a personal thing. Mm. For me, maybe if as soon as I start like transitioning and my start, my my body has changed. Mm. It's more softer. It's more feminine. It's more 
But if I have mm. boobs, that's when I can start exploring like can green we, dresses. Can we? Really can I add something? I, yeah. I, Especially when you talk about transitioning, uh -huh. I think I think that we can talk about it where we address the tra drag and whatnot. Uh -huh. Because there's I I think I am trans, but I don't want to do transitioning. Yes. You know? Definitely myself it's, as well. It's, um, it's I I I'm well are, aware. You, you are not defined by transitioning. transitioning. Yeah. And when we talk you about transitioning, are, guys, guys, we are talking about. Hold on for our audience mm -hmm. as much oh, as yes, this is a, uh, a yes. conversation. But we're also doing it <laughs> for them. them. <laughs> you have definitely. <laughs> but as much what we what transition means means that transitioning into the gender that you internally identify with mm -hmm. externally meaning mm -hmm. you take hormones if you're transitioning from male to female yeah. you take estrogen and uh you stop it stops you from growing facial mm -hmm. hair yeah. you start getting defined you start getting hips your skin becomes softer your skin becomes your softer voice. Your, your voice, voice. drops mm -hmm. well not drops it goes up a pitch higher Softer. It becomes softer. Yeah. You don't have, have a deep voice like we do now. Uh, well, I don't, I, I don't I do not have a deep voice. Oh you my don't God. Have <laughs> <laughs> I want to speak like this. <laughs> Let me tell you so that. Then, also, your shoe size becomes like slightly smaller. Ooh, like, oh, I'd love that. Mm. So, <laughs> for that, I would do But I feel like you. Yeah. Where I'm like, uh, at mm. the moment, I don't want to. I, I especially my body. I am plus size. There's a lot of, like you basically, and already you basically I look become okay. A, like guys, I, think I get it. I get about it. The, the, the estrogen obviously suppresses the testosterone, yes. and then you start becoming a woman. Obviously, yes. like yes. your body, like physically, and it works. And then obviously, when you are transitioning from being from uh, a male, if, body. if you're a trans man and you are transitioning from into, female to from, male, yes. Or the idea is because this is the road, yes. and then you start growing, growing facial hair, hair. And then your I've body seen that has starts. Any. Uh, becoming like a bit mm -hmm. masculine mm -hmm. and stuff. Yeah. Guys, let me say. Hey, let me, let me, let me, no, I think Nino is my friend. Nino, I and Nino, my person. Oh, yeah. okay. Let me say, guys, ne, the reason why Nagiri, I, I'm like, I'm not gonna transition and whatnot. Mm. There was a time go high where a boy would never go. So you've never, you know, you've never got took hormones. No, don't come at me, please. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah. Yeah. Guys, I'm I swear, I swear. <laughs> she, she, this one says uh, this uh, one yeah, posted yeah, yeah, that she's Give taking drugs. Uh, I saw you posting somewhere that you once took hormones, and now you're you're. Leave me alone. You I have naturally have boobs. Right See, <laughs> and I have girl. It makes sense. I have boobs. It makes no tell you hormones. Leave me alone. Let <laughs> okay. Me say, anyway, let me say. It. <laughs> never. I don't even know. Why are you it lying? No. No. Don't. I'm not judging, but like be honest, okay, guys. Let me say. What do yes. you why do I have bigger boobs? Nigga, top of the bra. There was a time go high, you cannot, as a boy, go to the funeral, especially mm. go to the No, no one said that. We just fought it's like a that. It's not thing to do, but, though. But, no, I'm just saying, but now, yeah. Yeah, now, you can go. I can go. You I know? Believe. But I remember, I go to the and um, they don't know me, those people. Yeah. And next up, I don't do because in the cap, like, listen, I get the weekend. I'm a, I'm a guy, I'm like, I'm gray, well, I'm trans, whatever. But they didn't know that. Mm. I get the you know what they did, they're mm. like, no, uh, Most, are you trans or are you gay? I'm trans, listen, are you sure you're not <laughs> what? still discovering it? No, I know, I don't want to be addressed as a man, gay. The, no, yeah. but like Maybe when queer. Listen, but like when when there's 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 situation. It, it's it's growing up. I couldn't yeah. up. There's way there was a point where I would like every but I would go. No one gas here. No one gas here. And you're not gonna ask so, me why. Uh, and nobody's uh, gonna ask me. Like, but then I now, what you would do is if we had the fungu to aparatuk, especially go mahaying. To avoid. Listen, I don't even wear it. I go with my hair. I dress the way I dress, and I go. Nobody says, ha oh, hey, no. It's I because think, okay. think, Renato, no, we tried. But, but, but more Relax. accommodative of and the also, queer community. And also, our generation now is they fighting, understand. guys. We don't just sit and be like, oh, but it's about not young queening, and we will go. Even I, as a trans person, I would go. I'm never going to go. Mm. You know, and I, I think I, I, would, I, would, I should say. You I, girls, you girl leaners talk too much. We've been at it for a while now. So wow. Drag trance. 
And yes, and let's finish that off. Well, can you tell us the difference between... Uh, well, d can you explain trance? I'll, I'll explain drag. So trance so. is identifying as... When you're transgender, is identifying differently from the gender you were assigned at birth. So if you were born a boy or a girl, let's say you were born a boy, and you say, Barry, you are male because they see male genitalia on you as a boy. And you, as you grow up internally, you feel that, no, man, this is not the correct gender. I'm not a boy. Yeah. I'm a girl. You know, at first it starts off as, I feel gay. I feel like I'm gay. Yeah. And then, but you're eventually, you do, yes, eventually you're like, no, man, I'm, I'm a girl. Sure. I'm a girl. And then you start presenting as that. That is transgender. Yeah, that is transgender. And drag is actually somebody. Like maybe if you are it's an a art guy, form. it's an art form, okay. exactly. Because even straight it's men, a, they they go into yes, drag. You know, like you dress up as the opposite sex, in, um, in, what do you, okay, you dress up as the opposite sex to entertain mm. yes. audiences, it's and also the makeup is also exaggerated. Exactly, everything is exaggerated. exaggerated. It's like over the top oh, so bam. just to entertain people yeah so i really get offended when people call me drag queen i'm like my life is not a performance and but my you get you get you get gays my who, life is not a performance gays who uh, this is me this call is themselves me. drag um i think exactly. it's because some of them they're trans but they don't know they the don't language know. the thing is is, is is language language is important mm -hmm. uh for the longest time as a child the women who lived in the same yard as me, it was more than one, by the way. It was who lived as women. And there wasn't a language, but we just called them easy tabani, gay, right? Yeah. But now, because I know the language and I know the terminology, and unfortunately they are not alive for me to go back to them and say, Koko, you are. Would you? This is what trans. I'm is. just saying that. Would you, you say that you're girl, trans? Girl, you are lucky that you had people that you can yeah, look up to I'll and actually show relate you to yeah. because wow. That, that's yes. what I'm saying. I would, I would wow. Now even even when I, I relate to have that, I, I go na, back to them. Na, na, na. 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 Oh, excuse me, cabbage. <laughs> <laughs> even even now, I go back to that and say I knew people who were like mm. this. Mm. I've, they, they've come before me. That's I'm privilege. not. I'm not the only one. And even my family from my mother's side, they understand because my cousins, we grew up in Nabokoko Lab, mm. you know, mm. and they know it and we understand. They my grandmother was friends like, oh, we with Gokumapo. Mina, guys. Eto team. So we're going to need to... We have to go drinking. Okay, let's go drinking. So yeah, anyway, there's a difference between... Uh, trans, trans and drag queen. My life is not a performance. Mm. My life is not a this performance. Is Let's I just am. say that a drag queen is a performer and nobody walks around as a performer. In, right? On a daily basis. Because, like, when they see you with your contouring, they're like, oh, drag queen. I'm not here for your entertainment. Exactly. Amen. This is Thank me. you. This is who I am. Thank you. Thank you, yeah, ladies. So I'm living my truth. And we're going to continue this. In the next part, we're gonna go refill our drinks. We're gonna drink on the baton. We're gonna drink on the ones and twos. And then, yeah, we'll see you in part two. Thank you for watching. Bye. 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 Bye.